Today on Number Six with Cheese, we're headed to a Mr. Submarine. There's like a couple dozen of these in the Chicagoland area, like in and out of the city. Uh, so today, Corey's getting a hot corned beef sandwich, and I'm getting a roast beef, a little local. Um, everybody in Chicago, let us know in the comments if you guys have had Mr. Submarine and what you get, and if it's any good. This is gonna be our first time. We've driven by this place what? So many times. It's for four it's years. It's an iconic sign, too. Yeah, it is. Like, the branding is really cool. It's really caught our eye for years. We're finally doing it. Um, so yeah, come along, Mr. Submarine. Sounds like a nice guy and a yummy, licious guy. <laughs> it's on the website. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, two Mr. Submarine sandwiches. We'll get into them. Acquired jump cut. All right, uh, let's take it in for a Corey Wagner second angle. Okay, that is the grossest looking corned beef I've Whoa. ever seen in my life. Let's actually take these tomatoes and throw them away. Oh my. That's gone. My, com my computer. My hand computer just spazzed out. Well, that was weird. All right. All right, another tomato. This is an extra juicy one. Gone. Um, wow, that corned beef is gross looking. Uh, corned beef, mustard, lettuce. Looks like some sort of herbs and stuff. And then I think there was mayonnaise on the front end of this. Yeah, it looks like there's mayonnaise on there. Man, I literally hurry up with a second because I can't look at this corned beef. Yeah, I think we're done there. I cannot keep looking at that and then consume it. Whew, this can't look much better, huh? Trey, legs. Trey Legs, that'd be a sick rap name. Dude, yeah. Hey, what's or, up, I'm Trey Legs. Or that'd be like a really good three-point shooter at a high school. Wow, is there any roast beef on this? Tough. I mean. I mean, honestly, I'm not that surprised at that because it's a Subway place. Yeah. Like, Subway doesn't put much more than that. That's how much they put on it, you this know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're right, you're right. But, I mean, you're allowed to be mad at whatever you want to be mad at. So. That's like an ounce and a half, Corey. I mean, that's what these places are, though. Yeah. I guess if, well, I don't know what you expected. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. This, misju this misguided anger. That's needs the to thing. Go so away. we need to we need to tell these people too. Like, this, I meant to say this. This is this is a local spot, but this you can't compare this to local food. Yeah, that's a good point. This you is a localized I mean? fast food restaurant. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So Take that with a grain of roast beef and salt. That's that's the expectations. The thing that sucks is that my expectations for Subway are really, really, really low. <laughs> that's true. So, that's true. You know, that is what it is. Yeah. All right, um, this whole order, even on Postmates, was $11. That's also great. Um, okay, here we go. Sandwiches for Mr. Submarine. Cheers. Cheers. So much bread. It's a lot of bread, but like, it's pretty good bread. You know what it reminds me of? My uncle would always bring those like, like whenever we'd have like, uh, like watching Ohio State Michigan game. He's the guy who's bringing that big giant long sub that's cut into those like little three to four inch things. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what this tastes like, which there's a place for those. Mm -hmm. Just not a place for them in my wallet. Party subs. Mm -hmm. A six foot party sub. That used to be such a thing. That's not like a thing here. I feel like people don't show up to parties with subs. Maybe that's a thing of the past. That's or a maybe it's a thing for adults. Yeah, I was gonna say, my parents' friends used to do that. But like, you gotta think about it this way too. We're showing up or, you know, with alcohol and stuff. <laughs> right. And booze, we, I don't go to parties where they're like, hey, make sure you bring a, bring a little plate of food. I've literally never been to a party where I brought a plate of food. The potlucks that you and I go to, it's just a kitchen island with every type of booze. Like post buzz shows. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's a alcohol potluck. Mm -hmm. I love those. Yeah, so maybe this comes with having kids. Maybe we'll probably never experience this. Because mm -hmm. we're not going to have kids and go to parties where it's mainly just kids running around. Right. And, a, and then you bring a party sub because like, well, I guess I just want to eat and watch this football game. Does everybody just stand around the sub and eat it and think about the times before they had kids and they were happy? Mm -hmm. My family's always pretty happy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's just my My side. family really loves their kids. <laughs> I used to walk in and everybody was like, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm like, hi. I had a great family for not having a dad and then having an awesome dad. Not a great feeling. We all loved our kids. I need to go on record then. They were all funny. You're taking it seriously. I need to say that I also had a great family. <laughs> My family's well, gonna watch to... this and go, Jesus Christ. I didn't Sean. know how to respond to it because I try to always just respond honestly because <laughs> yeah. then it makes the jokes always better. That's a good thing. If that's I try good. to like make it up for the stuff, my jokes, that's how I know when a joke is gonna fail. <laughs> when I'm trying to not be me, yeah. that's the biggest way I can fail a joke. So I always, you're only gonna get honest answers from me. That's a good, that's a good quality to have. My jokes are riddled in fallacy. Mm-hmm. That's why they all fail. 
So this is way better than I thought it was gonna be. I went in with low expectations after looking at it. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad. Even for like a, a mediocre warm sandwich. It just reminds me so much of the party stuff thing. It's mm -hmm. like, they have such a specific time and place for those and it's almost never a part of my calendar. Right. Or my locations that I'm at. Right. But I had to try it. I mean, it's freaking Mr. Submarine. And I'm glad we finally did it. You gonna keep eating yours? I mean, like I feel bad cause like we paid for it. I should eat it, you know? <laughs> I like all these raw onions. There you go. They bought onions. <laughs> it just reminds me of like something you could get in the um, Kroger aisle. Like you'd get like the sliced meat. That's kind of what it yep. reminds me of. That's exactly what it reminds me of. All right. Stop eating fatty. I don't even like it that much and I'm like shoving it down my face. Like, <laughs> you have a food show, you gotta be careful. You think Mr. Submarine has a Mrs. Submarine? Let's do a shout out. <laughs> cameo shout out, cameo shout out, cameo shout out. We've got a cameo, if you're not familiar with what it is, it's this badass little app that allows you to get shout outs from your favorite, favorite folks. That could be athletes, that could be uh, musicians, but today we hope it's YouTubers, specifically me and Sean. All you gotta do, if you want a shout out, we'll, we'll say happy birthday, we'll, uh, uh, we could break up with someone for you. I've seen people do that on yeah, the app. That's awesome. Um, you just pay us. It's like 19 bucks. And then, uh, yeah, you just go on the Cameo app, cameo.com forward slash number six with cheese. And that's basically it. We, you go on there, you say, hey, my brother's turning something and wants to, you to say this. And you pay us the money and we do those things. Mm -hmm. Simple stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Follow along. <laughs> I would love for someone to break up with somebody through it. Like, I mean, you're not taking ownership by any means of your relationship, but I'll do it for you. Yeah, that'd be, so, dude, man, that'd be so awesome. So also think about this, 19 bucks, one of the cheapest ones on the app. My friend Bobby, your friend Bobby, mm -hmm. he just bought one for uh, a fantasy uh, thing we do. Uh, not like weird LARP and stuff, like a fantasy. Uh, okay, don't, don't you explain it, yourself, please don't, because I'll roast you for the next he month. Bought, he bought one for the group, uh, Mankind, McFoley, yeah. dude love, of him talking to us about the rules of the thing we're doing. Yeah. And he said Bobby's name, I was like, and that's a hundred bucks. We're a fifth of the price. There you go. And probably his fifth is cool. Yeah. All right, um, wow, a little rating. This is our first rating of the week. We've just done, mm -hmm. which we've just picked stuff the rest of the week. Yep. Let's get back to our roots. Um, out of five, did you guys have Blimpy? In Ohio, I heard of it. I don't know. It's a company that's really like got popular subs in Detroit. That kind of reminded me of that a little bit. Okay. Let's do out of five Blimpy logos. Okay. So you'll find it. How many Blimpy logos do you give the corned beef sandwich from Mr. Submarine for just under five dollars? Um. Okay. So like I said, those things have a time and a place, but they don't have a time and a place for me. And so with that being said, I'm gonna give this a really low score. I don't care for those types of foods. I'm not a big a uh, little bit of deli meat, a lot of bit of bread type of guy. It's just not my style, and hey, guess what? You turned into a channel that uh, that that has me doing the rating, so I'm gonna have to base it off of things <laughs> I like and don't like. So I'm gonna give that a one. Ooh. Yeah, the whole time I was thinking, it's just stuck in my brain. I'm gonna, st I'm not even gonna try to break it down for you. 1.75. That's just, you know, if you're looking at a, at a at a meter, I just think that's like, you know, it's right around a 1.75. And it's it's my turn to rate, so you I don't you don't have you and guess what you can ask follow up questions because <laughs> I won't answer them. We'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Fridays uh, back on Corey's couch, crack it open some beers, uh, eating some stuff that we can cook in either an air fryer, oven, or microwave, and back to our roots in the shenanigan world of just making stupid content on the internet. Can't talk. See you tomorrow.